What up, everybody? Um, I know there wasn't a video yesterday. Um, they kind of got away from me. So, you know, this is day four and five, I believe. Um, but yeah, um, you know, it's a struggle um, being in here. I got family, supportive, and everything like that. You know, I still keep my head on my shoulders. But some, maybe the fatigue from the chemo and that stuff is kind of kicking in. And, you know, I'm getting tired or, you know, maybe I'm just getting restless in here from being here. Because I can't really go nowhere. I can only stay in here and walk the hallways. Um, but, yeah. Still marching along. Still going after it, keeping it, you know, keeping it real, keeping it G with you guys. Um, so for those of you that are new here, <clears throat> I mainly do Drew the Roofing, or Drew the Roofer, which is all roofing content. But in the lightness of day, you know, things happen, life happens. I got diagnosed with AML, acute myeloid leukemia. Um, but yeah, so here we are. Um, I have all three IDA pushes, which are syringes, done. Boom, you know what I mean? And then I got one, two, three, four, five. This right here is the fifth bag of chemo. So, hey, check it out. Got two days left of chemo tomorrow, which is Thursday and then Friday. Um, these are supposed to be lasting 24 hours, but somehow my body's just pulling them in and they're only going like... I said a full 24 hours, I still get like three hours left on the bag and it's empty. So my body's doing really good. Um, I'm staying positive. I got family bringing me food, visiting. And, you know, I'm kind of mixing up with lunch, dinner, breakfast, and kind of keeping it different. Um, you know, shout out to everybody that's, you know, been along the way. My family, my cousins have been supporting me and help pushing me along was just sending me text messages and stuff like that to help me out. Really appreciate that. Um, you know, it, it's kind of tough being in this situation because <clears throat> I'm so active. I'm always outside and I'm always, you know, a positive person trying to push everybody. But at the same time, it's like I never really thought this would happen to me. And here I am. Um, so I got to use my own wisdom, my own positiveness and pushing to get me through this situation. Mm. It is what it is, you know. God can't give you nothing you can't handle. And that's for sure. So in light of that, once I get out... Um, and doing better and everything like that. I'm I'm going to go push in a way to where that bring light to help people in the situation I am. Um, I want to start a little foundation, get it going, and just help people out the best of the ability that I can. Um, you know, because sometimes people just need it. Um, they won't ask for it, but they just need it. Just that little, hey, look, this is what I got when you're ready. You know, here, here's your help. Here's just some support, you know what I mean? And I feel like that's going to go a long ways and try to connect with local news or just local teams or, you know, just create a little banner, a little, little badge or something like that and say, hey, look, thanks for supporting. Here's a badge. Put on your uniform or put it on the hat or like a little pin or something, you know, just something. Something to help somebody out. But yeah. Um, that's where I'm at. But yeah, guys, this is... I'm going to keep going, keep pushing, and just keep striving to go forward. Uh, ain't much else I can do. Alright, guys, thanks for tuning in. Um, there'll be another video tomorrow, and the next day, 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 till I get out of here. I will record myself getting wheeled or walking out of here. And that is a promise. Okay? I will hold the camera. I have someone hold the camera for me. As we walk out of here. And as I get out of a wheelchair. Take my first steps. To recovery. And the outside world. 
and that's a promise. All right, guys, let's get after this. Let's get to it. See you in the next video. Peace.